Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on how we, we can work with exception handling in SQL scripting. So how we can use exception uh, handling feature in Snowflake SQL scripting. If you have not gone through my recent SQL scripting series and blogs, so I would like to recommend you to please go through them once because I have captured lots of detail in my blog series. So let's start with demo. So in this demo, uh, I'm going to use the SQL scripting database, uh, which I've created on the beginning and the public schema. I'm going to create a dummy table, uh, which is known as log to showcase you different features of SQL uh, uh, exception handling. So in this uh, uh, exception handling uh, demo, uh, first I would like to showcase you how you can declare a exception. So that's very easy and it's quite familiar if you are coming from an Oracle background because you have to just declare a variable name and then you have instead of data type, you have to use the keyword exception and then you have to provide the exception number which should range between 20 minus 20,000 to minus 20,999. So that's the uh, you can say as a reserved number for exception declaration. So those are the user defined uh, exception number uh, you can utilize. So these are the reserved number for user defined exception and rest all the other number will be used internally by the snowflake. So you have to just declare the exception uh, number and that number should be unique for each exception you declare in your current uh, declaration section and then you have to provide the generic message what you want to print when this exception is raised so it can be a string of uh, string with a some uh, some business uh, message or whatever you want to print so here uh, for this example I'm just creating two exception and both the exception has minor 20,002 and 2003 value number and uh, I've just declared a dummy string message like exception rule one is raised, exception rule two is raised and similarly I have created four different uh, if else conditions and based on this I wanted to showcase you that there are four different ways like basically there are three different ways uh, you can capture one is a statement error so whenever there is any statement error it will be captured automatically by the statement underscore error exception if you have any custom error message like exception business one and business two which i just declared on the top that's a user defined exception it will capture at accordingly it will not capture actually uh, you have to capture the bit uh, based on the business logic and then you have to raise this exception to print the message and similarly, if it doesn't fall under statement error or any business exception which you have declared, the custom exception, it, it, it will go under the other conditions. So when others, it will all the other exception will be captured by the when others. And this should be written at the end so that all the exceptions should capture if it's not captured in any of the above exception. So if you write this when other, then all the cap, uh, it will not go beyond other and it will start capturing over here and might it might i have not tried but let me uh, if, if we can also try that if whether it is allowed to write the way another on the first or not so let's see with the first with the demo what we have decided and then we will tweak this a bit and see how it reacts so in this demo uh, as you have seen that i have already declared and i'm just using the session level variable instead of a procedure parameter and then i'm based on a different parameter value I'm just trying to showcase you how the exception can be raised. So you can see if I am passing the value of this variable as one, it will raise the business exception one. If I pass the value two, it will raise the business exception two. And to raise the exception, you have to use the raise keyword and then the exception variable name. And in case of three, I'm just trying to insert a value and it will give me the error of statement error because there is an error in this statement. And then uh, I'm just trying to divide one by zero, which is uh, it doesn't fall under any of this and it will go on other. So let's execute this and then I will showcase you how it works. So uh, I'm starting with except, uh, with the parameter value one and executed and given me the exception business rule one. And this is the message which I wanted to pass. A, this is the custom message which I which I have provided at the time of declaring the exception. And this is the automated SQL state and this SQL code 
was declared by me but these all the other are these are system generated message similarly if i pass it the two value it will print me the same thing with a different message of this raise business extent rule 2 so let me execute this and see yes so you can see that the exception name is this this was the exception code and this was the custom error message which i provided and this is the sql state similarly if say uh, i want to pass 3 let's see if this insert statement will work or not so there is an error over here and it should go on statement error so here you can see it, it just provided me the error message which was captured as part of statement error over here so you can see that sql compiles error, error line 1 at position 23 invalid so this was not provided by me this is the system generated sql error message which was captured as part of sql errn similarly if i execute the 4 uh, because i am dividing by 0 it should give me it falls under other and should provide me the divide by 0 error so you can see that divide by 0 error so this is a system generated uh, error message which was captured as part of sql errm keyword and these are this falls under the other because i have not captured anything on the top pair for this divide by zero error so hence this is the different way uh, which is very similar to uh, users in the oracle and uh, i feel uh, more comfortable how we can utilize and exception handling is way too easier in sql scripting rather than javascript if you are not very much familiar with javascript so uh, i feel more comfortable now writing uh, plsql block or the procedure using sql scripting because now i have a power of uh, exception handling too and uh, if you have not seen i would suggest you to please go and have a look how you can capture this exception detail in another video which i have posted uh, long back so that's all for this demo and if you like this demo please subscribe to my channel and like my video Thank you.